Over the last year, none of us have been able to celebrate those really important family moments. So in our household, I've had two 18th birthdays, I've had graduations, I've had my mum and dad's retirement, me and Jules had our 20th wedding anniversary, in fact, our 21st wedding anniversary as well. So we haven't been able to do that. And now that we can get back together again, I've created this incredible celebration meal that hopefully will just kind of like bring everyone back together. Kids everywhere, outside, fun, laughter, joy, the whole thing. So it's all about having that one centerpiece on the table. And I'm going all out with an epic rolled and stuffed slow roasted lamb. It's a proper one slice wonder and the perfect dish to get ready in advance. And this is a beautiful three kilo shoulder of lamb. I've got my butcher to debone it, which they will always do for you, and they cut those bones up, so I'm gonna make the most amazing gravy. And by deboning it, it kind of opens it out like a book. So by having that, now what we can do is stuff it with the most incredible stuffing. My inspiration has actually come from these little babies. These are Merguez sausages. You can get them in nice butchers, sometimes with beef, sometimes with lamb, sometimes both. You could use any great sausage that you love. A Cumberland, it could be a chorizo, anything that you like, right? So let me just put this lamb away back in the fridge and let's focus on the stuffing for just a minute. So get yourself a hob on, medium high heat. I've got a nice big tray here for the lamb, kiss the tray with a little olive oil, and then the sausage, and basically squeeze it out into little chunks. I'm literally gonna pinch it, squeeze it out, pinch it, squeeze it out. That's the beginning to our stuffing. So let me just wash my hands. Okay, so let's have a little look what's going on here. Just use a spoon to break up the sausage. It already smells amazing. Hi, Dad. How are you? What are you cooking? A lovely roast lamb for tomorrow. You know when all our friends and family come around? Oh, yeah. Do you want to help me? Yeah, sure. Come on, wash your hands and then you. get around here. You can do some chopping if you like. So I've got two fennel. I want you to keep the herby part. Uh, finely slice the stalky part and roughly chop the bulby bit. OK. Did a bit more cooking in lockdown, didn't you, buds? Yeah. It was fun. What I'm going to do now is put in this herb here, so sage. I'm just going to tear it into the sausages. So if you finely slice the stalky bits first, big boy, yep. those stalky bits are tougher. So if you go a bit smaller, um, that kind of helps the cooking. And then okay. the bulby bit is more tender, so you can go a bit more chunky. Yeah. Is that good, Dad? That's nice. Yeah, beautiful job. I'm going to take this little opportunity to work beside my son, because I'm going to blink one second, and it'll be him that's going to university. One thing I've learned in lockdown is you have to cherish every single little moment. The things that are important, right? Little moments. We did some nice things in lockdown, didn't we? We did a bit of fishing together. Yeah. That was really nice. Yeah. Built camps. Yeah. Right, so I've done onions. So, Buds, come and throw some of those fennel stalks in here. Lovely. You can throw my onions in as well. You can be the thrower inner. Last one. Go on, my son. Then pick the whole board up and throw it in here. Yep. So what I want to do tomorrow when we cook this lovely meal is with the help of Buddy and maybe Petal and River, we're going to have a little area outside, table outside, so we get bean bags and cushions. So it's a bit of a festival. That's what we're after, a little bit of fun. So, um, Bud, are you happy to help me do that tomorrow? Mm-hmm. So give that a little shake, give it a stir. We'll let that cook for about 20 minutes until the veg is soft, sweet, tender and delicious. And that's going to be the base for the most amazing stuffing. <laughs> that did not me. <laughs> you! You! <laughs> get, try and get me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best at this! Oh, it smells amazing. Can you see how that large volume of veggies is now literally halved? And by doing that slow cooking, you've condensed, you've concentrated all those beautiful flavours. So now we can turn the heat up a little bit. And a very important ingredient now, a bit of white wine. So... About a glass, a good glass. By putting the wine in, 
letting it kind of rehydrate all those vegetables and the sausage, then cooking it away, you're just going to get the most amazing, amazing flavour. Yeah. So, let me get the last ingredient. This is some nice spongy sourdough bread, just about 250 grams. I'm just going to slice it up into little kind of one, two centimetre chunks. We're going to go in with the crusts as well. If you've ever got a bread that's too dry and the crusts are just like concrete, then simply put it in a little bowl, cover it with water or milk, and just kind of scrunch it like a loofah, right? And then after like 30 seconds, pour away that excess water and it will be much, much softer, okay? So you can bring it back to life, even if it's really stale. About 30, 40% of all the bread we buy ends up in the bin. So anything that stops us wasting is a beautiful thing. So let's just stir that through. The wine's now gone and the bread will start taking on some of the moisture from that stuffing. So what I'm gonna do is turn that gas off, lay it all out flat, and let this stuffing cool down. If we're gonna roll that beautiful shoulder of lamb, we don't wanna do it with anything that's hot. Can I give you a kiss? Mm. Why, every time I kiss you, you just run away. So this stuffing has cooled down beautifully. Let's get that lovely shoulder of lamb out. So you can see it's opened out like a book. Now we're going to stuff it. So I'm going to move it like this. If there's any little kind of fatter bits, you can just score it slightly. So it kind of holds on to our little stuffing. One thing I want to do is get my hands involved. Obviously they're clean. Just scrunch it up. It's going to really soften up that bread and that will completely change the texture and you'll get an almost a creaminess out of the bread stuffing. Hey, Buds. Yeah? Come and give me a hand. Okay. Got messy hands now. So, Buds, if you can get the salt and pepper, sprinkle some salt and pepper on there from a height. Nice, generous one. All over the whole thing. That's quite high. N not necessarily that high. Well, yeah. That's it. Beautiful. Lovely. And then we've got this lovely stuffing that I'm going to kind of pack in here like that, so you can pack it quite dense. So I've put it on about half. But do you mind um, just putting that in the sink for me, darling? Yes, the, sure. the next bit you're going to love, and uh, you're very important for my success here. Actually, it's really nice to do this together. So now we've seasoned it and put the stuffing in, I'm going to basically fold it over like this, and it will fall out, so don't worry about it. As it falls out, we'll try and repack it in again. Now, bud, if you grab that string there. So this is very, very simple to do. Just get like seven or eight pieces of 60 centimetre string, put it underneath, and then basically we'll put it an inch apart all the way along. So I always start in the middle. So I tie it, one, two, and then if you pull it tight like this, it doesn't really let go, that then I can come back in and put that second knot in there. And then I just cut it off like that. Chefs and butchers will make it look Super flash and super perfect. Please do not worry about it. As long as it gets tied up and you secure that meat, that's the only thing that matters. Can I do one? Yeah. Can I do this Go one? Go this one, yeah. OK, so, like, keep it roughly the same distance. Tight as you can. Buddy's muscles are developing at the moment, and I'm trying to get him to eat um, his fruit and veg every single day. So I do um... eat my fruit and veg every day. I have a whole plate of fruit every morning. Now, our only job here is just to secure the meat and keep that stuffing in. Once it starts cooking, it will set in shape. So you're going to be able to serve it with just one slice wonder. You'll have the stuffing, you'll have the meat. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. OK, so in this tray, which we did the stuffing, I'm going to put all the bones from the shoulder of lamb. And it's really handy if your butcher cuts them up for you because you're going to get loads and loads of flavour out of that. So that can go onto that trivet of bones. Any of these little bits now, we can collect and they'll go into the bottom of the tray and they'll get gnarly and sticky and they'll basically make the most amazing juices. Now, if you can grab us a garlic, buds, I'm literally just going to break this up into little chunks and leave the skin on. This is New Season's garlic, so it's a little bit softer. But basically, this just gets broken into this tray. Any extra little sage leaves, a little bit of olive oil, and that will just protect it. So I'll cover this now, buds, if you can cover that for me. Yep. And that will go in the oven tomorrow for about four hours until super tender. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So one great job done. Right, go on. 
Go and have a play. OK, bye. Thank you for your help. You've been very useful. It's the morning of my celebration feast. So I've been preparing this beautiful celebration meal for my family and loved ones. I did most of the work yesterday, which is fantastic, and that's what it's all about, right? I want to prepare a meal which is nearly all done, so when my friends and family get here, I can be spending more time with them, because at the end of the day, it's about being together, right? That's what it's all about. So let me get you up to speed. I've done this beautiful shoulder of lamb that's been stuffed and rolled. Now, let's just talk about that for a second. It's going to take about four hours to cook, OK? I'm going to put it into an oven at four whack and immediately turn it down to 150 degrees Celsius, which is 300 Fahrenheit, OK? So you've got that high heat that immediately goes down to sort of low and slow. Four hours of cooking, I'll baste it halfway through, give it lots of love. And also, if your guests are half an hour late, it doesn't really matter. If it cooks an extra half an hour, it doesn't matter. OK, so lamb's in the oven. That's really pretty. Oh, I'm on board. Can they run off? <laughs> yes! <laughs> This room smells incredible. That is the thing about these lovely, slower cooked cuts of meat. This has had just over four hours, and I've basted it halfway through and just gave it a little few splashes of water. In return for that, you'll get the most moist, succulent meat. Look at this. Give it a little baste. Get a fork, stick it in here, and if you can effortlessly just pull that out, Ho, ho, ho. Right, that's when you know you've got something that is groundbreakingly delicious. Chef's treat. Oh my lord. Falling apart. Wow. Absolutely delicious. Little kiss of the juices. Put a few of those crispy bits on top. That will stay hot now for a good hour and a half out of the oven. <laughs> <laughs> so. The lamb has been resting beautifully. Pull the string off, make sure you get all of it. And it should all come out in one. There you go. So we'll get rid of that. <laughs> Guys, have a little look at this. Whoa! Come on. Woo! Do you mind if I serve yours up and then I can put everything in the middle of the table? Yeah, sure. Is that leg or shoulder? Shoulder. Oh, my favourite. Who wants the end bit? I love the end bits. I want the end bit. We all want the end bit. <laughs> and who's this for? This is for Gennaro, the king of the table. Dad, this one's for you. Yeah. Well done, me darling. <laughs> Here, Nanny. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks fantastic. Right, enjoy, everyone. Tuck in. Oh. It's really good. Do you want some gravy? Yeah. I want on there. Now on here, yeah. and then on here. <laughs> <laughs> River, why have you got two plates? Because this is potato. One for me. Mom, and this is one for the potatoes. Guys, if I may say, I've been dreaming of this moment for a long, long time. It's so nice to have us all back together again. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Life is about memories, and today we've made a memory. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. I could do a whole paragraph and it's never as good as Dad's. Dad's has three words. 